I mean, don't make it like. So I've been waiting for this for a long time. We got the uh, one wheel pint X. Got the UPS driver delivering as we speak. Oh yeah, thanks dog. Got the fender right here. Here it is. Good, no branding on this. Let's get inside. All right, guys, welcome to my first video here on the Marlin PTY Reviews channel. Thank you guys for stopping by. Today, we're not doing a review, though. We're just going to do an unboxing. I'm really excited, as you guys can see from the previous video clips there. I finally got the One Wheel Pint X. Or well, I should say I finally got my first One Wheel. They recently released two new models, so I went ahead and went with the Pint X. I went with the Fender bundle, so I got the Fenders included. Uh, and that, that was just like a short promotional period there for like 1400 USD. But uh, yeah, they have several other options there for you to pick from. Sounds very well I just went packed. with this one, it's my first one. It comes in, uh, as you I don't want to buy a bunch of box, accessories so without even knowing if I'm a, if this is no branding or anything. Me. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what it's like. I got the uh, powder blue one. They have a golf, or not golf ball, tennis ball, green option as well. But I like blue. So I went with this one and I got the fender in, it's like a dark gray, almost black. And there it is, guy. I'm gonna have to check this out. Obviously here we have a quick start guide, how to get on ride, how to do a simple stop dismount there and I got a I've already downloaded the app actually over here you have a box where you have some uh, a ma manual owner's manual right here so I'll be taking a good look at this to familiarize myself and pretty cool they sent you some uh, one wheel stickers they got the pint sticker I guess they forgot the X <laughs> and here you have your charger and then over here, uh, a bunch of business cards they sent in there for you. So the charger that's included with this uh, is the regular charger. This is charges about 225 minutes, it says, so uh, three and a half hours or, or a little, almost four hours uh, to charge. They do sell another charger for 110. It's the Ultra Charger. Um, like I said, this is my first one. I didn't want to start buying accessories like crazy uh, without really knowing if I'm gonna need all that stuff. So we'll see how this goes. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this Pint X and get out of here. The mag handle is included. So tip to tip is 27 inches long. Really compact, much compact, much smaller than I thought. Pretty cool. I can't wait to get on here and try this out, but I've never ridden one of these, so we'll see how this goes. So this stock tire is 10 and a half by 4.5. On here, the, uh, as you can see here, the foot pad explains to you how to simple stop, the heel lift method, and I'll take a look at that uh, in a second here. So you have your uh, sensor here on the uh, front, or it's an integrated sensor here on the front pad, the front foot pad, and that'll help you with, you know, monitoring your battery uh, level and like uh, in-ride alerts. So I'll be looking into all of that into further detail uh, later on. Obviously there we have the uh, light, the LED strip light right here, which will give you all the indications you need uh, as far as your front uh, foot pad sensor there. So I had mentioned that this is 27 inches from tip to tip, the length. It is also 27 pounds heavy. So it's not, not bad at all really, it's not bad. I may get the guardrails later on and do a little bit of the Upgrades, as I said earlier, I don't want to start buying without knowing. Right here, you have your, your handle right here. You can see there. I had looked at buying the pint, but that was uh, the original one's $950. This one is at $1,400. So it does have a, a better range, uh, up to 18 miles per charge, between 12 to 18 miles. And uh, the top speed was also bumped up by two miles an hour. So this one can go up to 18 miles an hour, um, which is more than enough in my opinion. Uh, on my Mini Boosted X or my Boosted Mini X, 
I used to ride up to about 16, 17 miles an hour, and I was fine with that speed. So I didn't, for my type of riding, I don't think I need more than that. I, I think I'll be fine with this one. So in terms of the motor, this has a 750 watt hypercore hub motor. I believe it's the same as the original Pint X. I will correct myself if I'm wrong there. But yeah, let's take a look at the uh, fender that can, comes with this and install it. Here we go. Another cool sticker in here with the fender. Here we have the actual fender. Let's take that off. And on the inside here, you have your screws, an Allen wrench, and another business card. So let's go ahead and put this on real quick. Nicely made. I mean, again, this is my first time ever getting one of these, and so I'm pretty impressed with the build quality of all this. It looks really good. We'll see how it uh, holds up, but it looks really, really well put together, really well constructed. So basically, you have four screws here. You're going to unscrew these, pop that off, and uh, put that on there. Okay, so I got that all unscrewed. Just not sure how to take this out here. I'll just pull it up like that. Take this plate off. Just to make sure you know which way you're putting this, it has a cutout groove there for that handle. And the word pint is going to be on the back, uh, back foot pad, facing the back foot pad. Let's go ahead and slide this in here. There like so. And it goes right in, fits just like a glove. Right there, see? So I got that on there nice, sweet. Let's go ahead and put these screws. The screws that it brings are the same ones, the same size as the, uh, the ones that were already in there. So I'm just going to put those back in there and store the other ones. One more thing guys, I decided to buy some wrist guards. I've never used wrist guards before. I've, skate, I've skated all my life and um, I never felt the need to have these, uh, but since it's a one wheel, I don't know. I guess because I'm getting older, <laughs> I want to take care of myself a little bit better and uh, I decided to pull the trigger on these. these are, some brand called Sword. Uh, they are real flexible, which is something I wanted. They do leave the top of your hand a bit exposed there, as you can see. But I don't know. We'll see how these go, and uh, I don't even know if I'll, I'll use them for very long, but I want to start off with them because I've never been on one of these. And I do own some uh, helmets already, so I'm, I'll be wearing my helmets every time I ride this. But let's go ahead and charge the, the one wheel up, and if you're a first-time rider like me, we'll show you how to dismount, quick tutorial here for the simple stop dismount in the app. It also will explain to you how to do the heel lift dismount and uh, shows you with the video how to do it, so very helpful. So it also gives you an explanation of their pushback feature uh, and gives you a little explanation on how it's dangerous to ignore that, so just keep that in mind. So when you're gonna sync it up for the first time, the app will show you there a little message that the battery does come under 50% charge Mine was actually at 32% or is at 32%. So I just wanted to show you guys that. In addition to that, you will see that your one wheel arrives with uh, zero miles on it. The battery energy levels are there. And also up top right here on the right corner, it gives you an idea of how long your charge is gonna take. So I got about at least three hours left. See, it goes back from 305 to 257 there. Uh, so it's gonna be a while for me. So one more thing guys, I decided to buy some uh, wrist guards. These are, leave my hand fairly exposed, but I, I did a little research on them um, and I just went with these, I don't know, this brand is called Sword, you can see there. But um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want something that was too heavy or, you know, I've never worn wrist guards to be honest with you. I've, I've used, like I said, I've skateboarded before, uh, all my life actually, and I've never felt the need, but with the one wheel, I don't know. I. I guess because I'm getting older, I decided to have these. I already have, I already own some helmets, so I'll be using my, my helmets that I already have, and uh, that's it.